The Xbox is on. Hey, Alana. What's up? Did you ever leave your Xbox on overnight to get an achievement? Any of you? Yes. Nice. Game show idea. But then there's a huge bin of games. So you just go digging. Uh -huh. Like you go, go! And then both of you just go digging, and then you What's just try, grab the game and... Here. All right, all right. All right, here's, okay, 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 all right, okay. Ben, I'm down with, maybe, maybe an arena, like the end of video power, you have a Velcro suit, just spip on. However, okay. you've got, you've got your co-driver, your co-gamer, they're back in a booth somewhere, uh -huh. and all they have is a stack of official Xbox magazines uh -huh. and a headset. Oh, okay. so they have So they're like flipping through? through, trying to tell oh. you what to do, uh -huh. they're giving you the tips, but That's they gotta great. find them in a physical magazine. Oh, nice. My only problem is that, I feel like you said Velcro suit and Nintendo power, but I believe that was Johnny, wasn't that? Johnny video Arcade's power. Video, video power, power. Yeah. 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 You almost embarrass yourself. I, you almost embarrass yourself. Yourself. This part here where James said that Lawrence said Nintendo Power, he did say Video Power. Oh, I know. Patrick. Quite on set. Quite on set. I, cause I, I mean, I heard what you said, but I was just so distracted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your eyes shot going here. Uh, Pupils uh, dilate, your blood vessels explode. Totally blame. I have a better, oh. better version of the show. This is called Wood Rock. It's like a, kind of a small arena where you can get pistols. Everybody gets thoughts with a golf club and you hit the puss. This cool. is probably the first time we've ever played this yeah. map. Doesn't look familiar yeah. at all. We may have talked to you about this before, Alana, but have you ever seen Video Power? No. Oh, so good. Man. What is video it power? It it's, was a video game game show. Well, it started first off as a yeah. First, it was a news show hosted by Johnny Arcade. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now that's video power. And it was just video game news, but then they were like, it. "No, this sucks." So then they turned it into a game show. Video warriors on your mark. Grab those controllers, please. Get set, guys! Good luck to all four of you. Go! All right, once again, time to hit the road with a load of toads. Now get a load of these toads, because he Bibble's in big trouble. It's Rash and Zitz to the rescue as we roll into this game. The kid who won got to go, he basically wore a Velcro suit and ran through a makeshift game store. Mm. And you basically would do laps around this game store in 60 seconds. Right. Anything that stuck to you or you carried out, you were allowed <laughs> to keep. What? <laughs> what happened there? Oh. Hack, did it hack? Yeah, it was why awesome. did he get a cough? It, it was great because you know how like right now everyone's trying to figure out how to make an esports show for mm -hmm. TV or trying to make video. Because like it's never gonna work. And they did it. Johnny Arcade did it. No, but yeah, exactly. They did it and they redid the show three times, I think. It was yeah. twice. Before, Oh, Season yeah. one was a failure because yeah. all they did was talk about games, and then they also had a cartoon featuring uh, the t like k the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes Tomato, mm -hmm. uh, a guy from Narc, a guy from like Oh yeah, Arch Rivals, That's and right. one other thing that no one cares about. Yeah. yeah. Erp! That was a good shot. But one of these kids' games that was on a video game show had mm -hmm. like an eye toy type game where they would like move their hands. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. that, so that was Nick. Ar the end of Nick, was Nick Arcade, Arcade was the kids got sent into the game. Corey, hit start, my friend. All right, he is off. He's over the first one like a pro. Down. All right. Oh, got nipped in the head. Where they have to beat three levels and no one ever did, <laughs> that, and, and would, never would in a thousand yeah, years. Yeah, because kids right. are bad and should feel but, bad. Well, it's basically you're like a weatherman. You're standing on a green screen and looking at a small CRT monitor, <laughs> yeah, like to try and decipher where people actually are. Right. And then they send a thousand obstacles at you, and every time you get hit, it takes away a life point. Mm -hmm. And they're like, "You lost." And they go, "Where am I?" Yeah. My favorite part is there's always a moment in every single episode where the kid doesn't know they've lost yet, and they have to go, "You're done. You're done." Yeah. Mm. No, 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 they, no, 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 no. Jesus. No. Bibble's in big trouble. It's rash and zits to the rescue. GTA author map. Or a map author, chill it with the fucking sniper rifles, please. He's not listening. It yeah. ruins every test match map I've ever played. He's unless gone. I'm the one who has it, and then I have all the He's fun. He's just finishing the first video we made on this map where I went, oh, what a good time we're all yeah. having. Wow, yeah. what a good fun. I'm so glad they enjoyed my map. You come back here. You do have five kills, though. So Darb! But Axel probably has 30. Can you dodge a melee? You can dodge punches, and then you get to do a sick combo, but I don't mm -hmm. know if you can do that with melee. Here's the thing, so. Lawrence. You can do it. I'll tell you how to do it. It doesn't make a difference. It does work. Yeah, yeah, just try it. <laughs> Not your finest work. My time is over now. I hope you guys enjoyed those sick gamer plays. You are the new Johnny Arcade. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one of these days I'm hoping in some scummy bar in LA I'll run into him and buy him a tequila shot and he's like, thanks. And take knocks it back and like, <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Arcade sat a specific way. Does everyone remember how he sat? I mean, no. yeah, he would he would always oh, throw his shit up because he would always be on the couch and he'd throw his leg up over he's the arm. Always had his leg up. Oh yeah, there's there's our hero. 
Yeah. There, look at his leg. He's kind of cute. Yeah. Oh, well, he's super cute. That, he's that, image, streamboat. that top image is his, his current day arcade. He had he had loads of attitude. Did he, he turn into him. a mob boss? What do you think the 2010 to 2020 fashion staple <laughs> would be? Garbage hipsters, like the the man bun type shit. Oh, man bun oh. for sure. But I'm more like Mumford and Sons uh, assholes that were like wear like wax mustaches oh. and wireframe glasses. You and think that'll straw be straw hats? I don't know of, anyone who actually dead. dresses like that. Well, I mean that's the thing though. No one actually dressed like the most extreme. It's just a couple of idiots yeah, did it I and see. it came uh, to define the era. We just might not be in the right places. I don't know that LA is the place for hipsters. I don't know that LA is the place for hipsters. I don't know that LA is the place for hipsters. Alan, I have a theory. I want to test this out on you. Mm. I think that I think that the age we're in now is the YouTuber look, uh, the influencer look. So, okay. dudes with very pretty eyes, your market pliers and what have you. Dudes with very good voices, something deep and resonant, your market pliers and okay, what have you're you. You're really into market I guess I'm just describing market pliers. He is the perfect. Man. I think he's very handsome. Yeah, I agree. Let me speak for you, 14 year old ladies in chat. Oh, they're here. Uh, yeah, they're. <laughs> we don't have any of those in our audience. Plop. I think I think ring lights and like webcam YouTube videos have made really pretty expressive eyes. Interesting. That so it's out. fake. I mean, I mean, it's dressed up, but when it's is always it been fake. Yeah. Oh, that's just obvious. That's a good stretch. That was a Johnny Arcade right there. <laughs> Leg over there, armchair. Yeah. <laughs> got him. You got him. You got him. You got him. Yes. Do girls think that Jake Paul and Logan Paul are hot? Yeah, they do. I mean, they they may not find them like. It's probably one of those like he's big and dumb, and I take him to bed just to see what happens. But I'm not gonna take him Classic home to mom. Fourteen year old girl thoughts. Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> I, don't know. I will take them to I, bed. I, mean, I always like to, jacked, and they're like kind of childish, so I, I think it yeah. works. I always like okay. to reference the person that my adult mother had a crush on, <laughs> Boy George. <laughs> mm, your mom had some. Women are taste. Com we, women are complex creatures. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you know who I like? That Liberace. Mm -hmm. There's something about him. I bet he takes all the women yeah. to bed. I think women are more into the uh, the uh, the headspace of it. So like Twilight, it's more about the uh, circumstance of the relationship than it is about how the dude looks. Al sure. Alana, if you could not add your opinion Sorry. to yeah, this. If you could just yeah. stop talking entirely. <laughs> I think women like this particular That's enough. That's enough. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I don't know why we're even listening to this. <laughs> Speaking of working in coal mines, so uh, as I brought up a lot, I'm exposed to a lot of, of true crime TV. Mm -hmm. Snapped uh, was was the du jour last night. Uh, however, I did see an ad for Bud Light, except Bud Light on Snapped, obviously targeting women. And uh, Bud Light typically, it's like, oh, you've been working in the coal mines all day, America's hot land, and it's like yeah. dudes like rubbing sweat and shit mm -hmm. from their face and they clink. This was a woman comes home from work and it's like this long thing of her taking off her bra and cracking open a Bud Light. And I'm like, mm. awesome. They did it. They found a way to like make a rough comparison there about America's heartland. But it was cutting intentional. Out a long day it was work, like an snapping off your bra. Thing? Huh? Was, uh, how? I got. I... Hey, don't kill yourself. Drink a Bud Light. I was having this discussion. I guess this is more rare than I thought it was. Did anyone else have a babysitter that locked them out of the apartment when they no. were young? What? Okay. Wow. I never had a babysitter. That's yeah. child My abuse. My sister babysat me. I mean, is it child abuse if it's not your kid? Guys, Red Baron's a woman now. I already brought that up, but I'm still impressed. Whom? Red Baron, the oven pizza thing. Oh. What? She's a lady now. What are you talking about? Red Baron. Oh, sorry. That's this, not historically accurate. Yeah, this not, might be a North American what thing. What does so. he drive a tank? <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I thought cool. the yeah. Red Baron was a Nazi. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's just okay, like, it makes Baron. That's in German. And red. Yeah, the red part. So it was always kind of weird. They're like. Time's gone by. Have a Nazi pizza. Do you guys, yeah. do you guys remember there's a short-lived cartoon toy crossover series called Ring Raiders? No, oh, sounds that familiar. sounds terrible. It Wait. was awesome. They were Did they have planes. holograms in their chests? No, they, oh. it was planes. But the toys were you would wear like rings on your finger, and then they would be planes. So you go like shoo and fly them around. Okay. But there was a cartoon that accompanied it, and one of the guys his 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 backstory was that he had. Had a showdown with the Red Baron. Oh. That was his thing. And there's one point where he's fl flying in the storm and he's like, Curse you, Red Baron! <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a while, but you guys said Red Baron. It made me think of that guy with oh, the big burly mustache who hated the Red this, Baron. That's all good. I, I saw a clip from Star Trek the other night where Mark Twain's yelling at one of the crews, like, What do you mean you don't just take what you want? Oh, <laughs> Mark yeah. Twain? Yeah, because the holodeck episodes were oh, A. Oh, oh, Can you do me a favor, real quick, God before we uh, Look end up this episode? Robin yes, no, Shift Tab, Ring Raiders, Red Baron.
My Wii U's like uh, the toys from Toy Story that you forget about. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's just sitting in the closet going, Adam, what about me today? No, uh, no I'm jacking it. <laughs> Why is it not firing? Mm. You, uh, I don't know. I do Wait, have what are rockets. You, which yeah, button are you right pressing? I'm pushing, pushing in the thumbsticks. Left, Left stick. stick. Press it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, 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 oh,